Did you know that one Etsy seller made over $1,450 from their Something Blue Before I Do printable and their listing is only one month old? And another one, already at $928 with a listing that's just three months old. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how we repurposed the designs we made in the last video into this super trendy, high converting aesthetic, all inside Canva and in less than 20 minutes. Hey friends, it's Roxy here, back with another digital product deep dive. If you're new, I help digital product creators like you design smarter, sell faster and build thriving passive income streams all without the tech overwhelm. And before we jump in, don't forget to grab your free 101 digital product ideas guide linked below. It's your cheat sheet to winning in this market. So let's talk about why this niche happened. So let's talk about why this niche matters. The something blue before I do aesthetic is, is skyrocketing. Its vibe is fresh, elegant, and full of nostalgia. Perfect for bridal showers and bachelorette parties alike. And here's the thing, it's unsaturated compared to in traditional wedding themes. That means that you can stand out without having to out-design a thousand other listings. What we are going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you how to take the exact template we made in the last video, which was the bridal shower invitation here, the welcome sign here, and the advice for the bride card here, and transform them into this something blue bridal aesthetic. And this will allow you to double your product line with almost no extra work. And just so you also know, the final repurposed design that we will create today will also be included in my $9 PLR Essentials membership, along with over 50 other ready to sell templates. I'm really proud of this membership and what I've been able to create for you guys. There's also some really amazing repurposing training in there that you won't see on my channel. I also take requests for specific templates as well. So if you want to shortcut your way to success, check that out after this. So before we move on over to Canva, let's have another last look at this particular aesthetic. So as you can see, it's very floral based, really feminine, really elegant. And the color palette is a variation of the blues, the creams and the whites there. So when we're looking at one of these top sellers in this niche, we can see this is a bestseller and the listing age is only one month. If we open this up, I'm using a really amazing tool called Everbee. Link in the description if you want to take a look. Um, it just gives me some really great data as to the rough amount of revenue, monthly revenue, total sales, the listing age. And these kind of things are really important because if you are creating your own product line, um, it's good to know that people are making really amazing bestseller products within a really short time frame. And that just means if we can then come in, create something just as good or even better, price it right, um, maybe even run some ads if necessary at the beginning, then it is absolutely doable for us to achieve this same success as well. I don't really want to compete with products that have been around for, you know, a good 12 months or more because then it just means they have time on their side and they've been able to build up um, some history behind that product over those months and those years even in some cases. So I love seeing products like this that are really, really recently created, really quite young products and having that bestseller badge as we can see also in 20 plus baskets. And the great thing about this is because they've made that bundle, they are actually able to command a higher price point. And then it makes more sense for them to run ads if they are as well, because they know they are getting a really good return on their investment. And as we can see with this bundle, if we click the Everbee Analyze is Listing um, button here, we can see that the monthly revenue is 928, which is fantastic for a three month old listing. We can see again, we've got a bundle here, um, really gorgeous, that blue white palette there and lots of different signs and things. But if we're looking at these signs, to be honest, these really aren't um, very complicated. And if you see my last video, I show you how to make something just like this. If we're looking at this particular listing as well, another bestseller in only two months and it's in 20 plus baskets. The great thing about this is it's actually a single page, so it's not even a bundle and it's commanding that really decent price point for that single page listing. 
So that's just giving you some brief insight into this niche, really gorgeous designs, and we are going to repurpose what we have before and make something really just as nice. So let's move on over to Canva now. So we are, like I said, we are repurposing what we created in our last video. I will leave a link to that video in the description below. But as we can see, it's a love in bloom set of bridal shower printables. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to go to file and I'm going to make a copy of this so that we don't mess with this original design. And the amazing thing now that Canva has introduced is the ability to actually have different size printables, different size pages within an overall project. So what you're seeing here is the size of this, it's a invitation and it's five by seven inches. And then if we're looking at this one, this is actually a bridal shower sign. And I think I made it a 16 by 10 design. And this is an advice for the bride card. And I think I made this something along the lines of 3.5 by I think 4.5 or 5.5 inches. So that is such a cool addition by Canva because then it just means we can create a whole bundle within this same project rather than having to um, create lots of different individual designs separately. So now we've copied this all over. Now we are going to embody that something blue type of aesthetic. So in my last video, I kind of started by arranging the words on the page, but since they're already here, um, that just gives us a bit of a head start. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just gonna swap out these florals. Well, actually I'm gonna remove them for now. Um, and then just use this as my template. Um, it's ready made. And we're just going to swap that to a kind of more soft blue, um, dusty white, maybe a touch of silver or cream to our border. And it's going to be, I think, a floral design as well. So we're going to go to elements and then I'm just going to type in blue florals. We're going to click graphics. I am going to make sure that they are free because we're using it for commercial use. And then we'll just have a little scroll through and see what we can see. So what I'm actually thinking is I might find a blue floral type background and then have a kind of frame on top of that blue floral. So that's actually quite nice. And we can leave this background as it is or just actually make it white. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just extend this across the page and then I will copy and paste this. So I've just clicked on this background. I've clicked command C and then command B and that has copied and pasted it. And then I'm just gonna bring it down here. So that kind of makes it seamless for us. And now I'm just gonna make sure that is positioned at the back. So just click position and center back. And now, now we can't actually see the words here, but when, but what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna introduce a kind of maybe an arch type frame. So something like this would be quite nice. So we've got some arches here. I'm just going to choose this one. I'm going to pull it out so that it kind of covers that whole, all those words there. Just make sure it's centered. And then I'll just bring that in a little bit. And then I think I would like a little border around the edge as well. Usually you can click here and um, it will kind of give it a border, but it doesn't, but actually it doesn't look like it's giving the type of border that I need, which is a border around the actual arch. So I'm just going to remove that. And we're going to go back to these designs here and see if we can just find, so this might work. We might be able to then just superimpose that over the design, which we can just about. Let's just make sure it's all sized up nicely. And there we go. So that's nice there. So now that kind of makes the design pop a bit more. I'm actually going to make sure, let me just move this to the side. I want to make sure that this color is white and then let's just move that back over. So as you can see now, this is definitely starting to embody that kind of blue, something blue aesthetic. Um, and we've just made that change really, really simply. So I think maybe to give it some extra pizzazz to make it really pop, I'm looking to maybe put something in the center around here. So what I might need to do is just make this whole design slightly smaller to make room for that. So I'm just holding down the shift key and just clicking everything that I'm going to make smaller. And then that just selects everything. And then it just means that I can just make that smaller there and bring it back into the center and then make that background smaller as well. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to lock this background just so it doesn't move as I'm making amendments. And then actually now I can just highlight all of that and it will all move together. I'm going to move this heading down a bit just to make way for whatever I'm gonna put there. So I'm looking up blue flowers. I'm gonna make sure they're free as usual because we are using this 
commercially selling it so we just want to make sure that we abide by those terms and conditions and I quite like this floral and what I would really like to do is to be able to see so if I click these dots here um, it will hopefully and it does it's it says view collection here and what that means is that it's going to show me a collection of similar um, designed florals I um, mean it doesn't just apply to florals it could be anything sometimes people make these elements and they make a collection of them and it's really great because then it allows you to then make a a design that is congruent and that you know flows really nicely so now we've got all these that we can choose from but obviously we want to choose the blue florals there so I've got this here and I think I'm just going to make that smaller and maybe make a kind of like pretty floral border just along the edge here. Just something, not too much. I don't want to go too overboard because the background is quite busy anyway, but I'm just layering these a little bit. Choose that, just turn it around so it's facing the bottom. I kind of want that to be right in the center. And then I'm going to just take this and this floral um, and I'm just going to copy and paste them and then just angle them over here. Just move them to the back so that this floral is right at the at the top and then I'm going to send that one to the back as well so that's just given it some extra like kind of something to look at and some extra you know cuteness and just some extra kind of um, elegance there so what I think is I might try see if I can change the background to kind of suit this color palette a bit more and so what we do is we just click that background click the color palette um, click over here click, click this dropper and then we can choose a color from there. So that one's a bit dark. And also, you don't have to do that. Canva is really great because it actually can pick out some of the colors from your design automatically as well. So we could just go and just click a couple of these and just see what really... See, I think that is a better shade of blue that really um, is in line with these florals as well. So I'm going to now just do the same with this one. So I need to unlock that, click the color. And then I think it was this one as well. So it's just it's just a small change that kind of just makes it more um, of a congruent design. I'm going to do the same for the border as well. Let me just make sure I'm choosing the right thing here. So now, as you can see, we have made, you know, we've used the framework of this aesthetic here and made something really different. Now, what we want to do is we want to change out the title, obviously. And, you know, the thing is, we could even use the same font scheme because it really looks, the design already looks different. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say something blue before. I'm just going to make that a bit smaller, make sure it's centered. And then I'm I and then do. And I actually might put I and do in the same. And we might want to change this calligraphy font to something else. Let's see if there's anything else. So that's actually quite nice. So now I'm going to click change all so that can change it across um, all of our, our design there. And actually, I think blue would be nice in that calligraphy font as well. So I'm going to just copy and paste this and I'm going to type in blue and then I'm going to copy and paste this and then just type in before. But actually, come to think of it, we could just have it all in this really beautiful font. Just make sure it's positioned in the center. So something blue for I do. So I think that looks really pretty. And then the rest of it we could keep as is, um, which is really cool. What I just might do is select all of this and just move it down slightly so it really gives that title some room. Make sure it's all centered. And there we have it. So now we are going to move on to this design. And so what we're going to do is let me just zoom out. So all we're going to do here is just now choose the bits that we want to take over. So we want this background. We want this and I'm holding down the shift key and just choosing all the bits and pieces that I want to take over to the new to the next design. So we actually don't need those words. And now I'm just going to click copy. I'm going to zoom out a bit because this is the larger design here. I'm just going to remove all of this and then I'm going to paste. And then I'm going to just now expand that across the page so that it fills it. And then we'll just make some amendments after that. I just want to position that to the back so that we can see the words. And now we actually need to take the white background as well. Let's copy that move that back into position, just it here, and then just expand it across the design and then send that behind just so, we'll send it to the back and then we'll bring it forward slightly, make some more amendments here. And I might zoom in a little bit just to make sure everything is in line. And now we want this frame to be 
behind the florals. So we're just going to click backwards until it is behind the florals. There we go. And now all we do is now choose all of these words here and just bring it down a bit. We could even open it up. And then what we also want to do is, is now change those words. So something blue before I do center that up. And then the rest can be the same as it was for. So now we have made the next in this series. And so what we'd want to then do is bring that, bring this over into this design as well. So let me just remove these florals again, the background, and then I'm just going to go over to this and I'm just going to click the shift button again and just choose everything. So actually we just want the background, I think for this. So I've just copied and pasted and then copy and paste again, again, into that kind of seamless pattern there, making sure it's all at the back of the design. And then what I'll then do is just make a bring a shape in here make it white so we want it behind those lines and then the rest can be left um what we could do is just make it slightly smaller make sure it's centered also we want to give it a frame so let's click here the border just make sure that border border weight is quite thin so just one and then we might want to just bring in some of those florals again so I'm just going to just copy all of these, copied them, and I'm just going to paste them onto this board and then just arrange. So I'm going to make them a lot smaller. Might want to zoom into this design. I'm probably just going to have them just in the corner like that. Because like I said, the background is, is quite busy as it is. So we don't want to, we don't need to do too much more to this. And then we just want to make sure that this is all centered. And then we might want to add maybe a couple more lines there. But as we can see now, we have changed this love in bloom and it's three printables. So obviously you might want to add more um, and I would definitely advise you to add more to then be able to command a high price point. But we've changed this love in bloom style. We've used the temp used that as a template and then made this really gorgeous something blue before I do style next. So that is literally it. With just a few tweaks, you've created an entirely new best-selling printable bundle without starting from scratch. You could add bonus pages like advice for the groom. Um, you could add matching bride and groom cards. You could add really cute signs as well as games that can be played. And that is going to be just a small additional effort which will massively boost perceived value and allows you to charge more. And if you're loving this strategy, then don't forget Forget to download the free 101 wedding product ideas guide below. It's going to help you supercharge your Etsy shop or wherever else you sell online. Lastly, if you want the fully customizable Love in Bloom and Something Blue Before I Do printable templates without lifting a finger, then they are waiting for you in the Learn with Roxy PLR Essentials membership for just $9 a month. You get instant access to a full vault of ready made and ready to sell templates that you can edit, list and profit from today. The link is down below, so go and check it out. Remember, success online isn't just about working harder. It is about working so much smarter. Find those trends, repurpose smartly and deliver beautiful designs that bride or whoever your target audience is cannot resist. You've got this. See you in the next video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified of my next video uploads. Leave any questions you have in the comments below and until next time, all the very best.